So the last example that I'm going to show here is much more involved. Um, it is a GPU implementation um, in Chapel of Conway's Game of Life. So if you're not familiar with Conway's Game of Life, I have the rules right here. Um, so we have a 2D cell of um, individual, a 2D grid of individual cells. Um, and each cell has some rules that determine whether or not it lives or dies um, and survives to the next generation. And so any live cell, so in our um, code example, it's going to be a Boolean value of true is live um, with two with fewer than two neighbors um, is going to die. Um, if it's got two or three live neighbors, it will live. Um, if it's got more than three live neighbors, it dies. Um, and then we can also bring dead cells back to life if it has exactly three live neighbors. And these, this Conway's rule of life is codified into Chapel right here. So again, we can use um, Chapel's 2D arrays to figure out how many neighbors we have. And then we can check, do we have three? Do we have two? And what is the value of our current index in the grid? And then we can compute the next grid. Um, so this is a single iteration across our 2D array. And if we come up to our code, we'll see that it, that gets run inside of a parallel loop that is going to become a GPU kernel. Um, before I talk about this loop a little bit, we're going to talk about the head of the loop here, um, where I'm not only, right, so this, this code is only going to use a single GPU, um, just kind of for simplicity of the example. Of course, you could write it to work with multiple GPUs. Um, so we're going to just select our target locale, either the CPU or the GPU. Um, we'll declare domains for our arrays. So we're going to basically set up how we want to index our domains. And the reason this is how we want to set up our arrays. The reason this is useful is because we can define our arrays over this slightly larger domain. And then we don't have to worry about bounds checking when we're running our kernel. Um, so if you've ever worked with GPUs, if, if statements are really bad, we don't want to do that. And so this allows us to really nicely avoid um, any kind of bounds checking work. So we've declared on the target locale our two arrays. We'll initialize it to some random state. And then we'll move computation to that target locale. And now we can go ahead and talk about the kernel. And there's actually two kernels here. Um, so there's not only this kernel here, which is going to run this function um, for each iteration on the GPU. Um, but we also want to check if kind of there's nothing more happening and everything kind of stabilized and settled down. And then afterwards, we're going to use this result in another kernel launch to reduce um, that array and check if we're stable or not. And lastly, we can just kind of swap in a constant time operation these two GPUs for the next iteration. So under the hood, um, this is like a pointer swap. Um, so there's not a lot of copying back and forth overhead. So let's go ahead and run this. And I'll run it without the printing first, um, just to show the, the GPU communication alone. And we're running it with kind of a small image um, and only 10 generations, but we'll bump that number up in just a moment. So running it with verbose GPU, there's all the kernel launches and we can go jump to that code there. There's the first kernel launch, there's the second one, and you can see that happens a bunch of times in a row. Um, but this isn't maybe very interesting to look at. Yay, we can see GPU communication. Um, let's see a cool video of it. So I'm going to go ahead and bump up the um, image size. Just make sure I get my syntax right here. And we'll bump up the number of generations this is going to run. We'll just run it with 100. Um, and we need to run it with print. And we'll let that run. Um, so. You'll see while it's running, we've got all this GPU communication that's happening. Um, but now I'll just stop that scrolling for a second. 
you'll see this extra kind of copy back from the device to the host. So before all of our computation was happening in GPU memory, um, but now we're gonna copy information from our from the device back to the host to be able to um, print it out. And maybe this will be almost done. There we go. And I can go ahead and open up that video and we can see the result of what our GPU computation was. So there is Conway's Game of Life, just a short little segment. Um, and again, this was all running on the GPU and just kind of moved back to the CPU to create this pretty image.